You have a sister who lives in Florida, and her pediatrician recommended that anyone who comes in contact with the baby get a whooping cough shot two weeks prior to having any contact with the baby. And this is a good rule of thumb for anyone, no matter where you live. Here's the problem. A lot of people have chosen not to vaccinate their kids, and this is allowing for whooping cough to sneak back into our communities. And a baby is left vulnerable until they can get their own vaccines at a year of age. So we need to protect them by doing two different things. One is giving pregnant women a Tdap booster shot, tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis after 27 weeks in pregnancy because then her body's immunity is boosted against uh, pertussis or whooping cough and she passes the immunity to the baby through the placenta. So they do have some protection for that first year. A second thing that's important to do is to make sure that everyone that's going to spend a lot of time with the baby gets a Tdap booster shot if they haven't gotten one in the last five to 10 years. So if let's say that um, you're going to be leaving your child with your mom or your sister on a regular basis, then it would be good to make sure they're up to date. And if they're not sure, they can call their doctor's office who might have their records. And if, if it's just been a while and they don't know, it wouldn't hurt to get the booster shot. They can usually be given at the doctor's office or at the local county health department. Now, you also mentioned that you want to give, get your husband a shot, but he's just horrifically afraid of needles. He's, he even gets sick when he sees that you guys have Band-Aids on after you've gotten shots. You're wondering what you can do to help entice him. And um, really, the best way to entice him is to talk to him about the risks of a baby getting it. And hopefully, that will be enough reason for him to go to the doctor and just endure a couple of seconds of pain because that's definitely worth the health of your baby or anyone else you're going to be spending a lot of time with has a baby. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.